Welcome to Ferrotone Studios. I'm going to tell you about my Squire Telecaster Bullet. I've had this Squire Telecaster Bullet for, I think, about six months. I did another video on it, so if you want to hear how it sounds, um, I'm going to do a lot more, well, there is a lot more playing on that other video. Um, and I've done, I've made, I've done a video on a song that I made of this, so everything you hear in it is this guitar. Sounds great. I'm just going to sort of talk about who this guitar would be for and sort of the pros and cons of a Squire Telecaster Bullet. So this, this one in particular is the, um, I think it's a limited edition colour, it's the Pete Honore or Danish Pete, so the Andertons one. And these bullets, I think they're all made in Indonesia, this one is, and my drummer's bought one. I put a link in the description from a company in England where you can pick them up for about 108 quid. This one was 140 and from the, the link I'll put in the description, I know after my, my drummer bought one, the price went down to about under 100 quid for a guitar shipped from Indonesia, delivered to your door. That's ridiculous. I mean, that is so little money, it's unreal. So who would I recommend these guitars for? Um, if it's your first guitar, 100% go for it. If you like the look of it and it's the right colour, it's definitely um, a brilliant first guitar. Squires now are better than Squires were, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Before that, I can't really comment because I've never played one over that age, but I've played a lot of Squires sort of up to 20 years old and they've improved so much. They don't have much lacquer on the neck, if any at all. I mean, they probably just went past with a spray gun and went, <laughs> job done. Um, but it doesn't feel bad at all. The neck, I'm gonna say the neck does discolor the more you play it because when I originally got it, I played it quite a lot and there were loads of dark patches all over the fretboard. This is a, a maple neck, maple fretboard. Um, but it hasn't happened again since, so I'm not entirely sure what happened there. They do come with nines on, so the strings are nines. I put tens on it and for me that just changes everything. All the um, Squire bullets I've played have very scratchy frets. So you play it for a bit and that does wear off. So I think they're leveled, but I don't think they're polished. But if you play it for a bit, it's not a problem. I did a fret job on mine just because, well, I can do a fret job for free. So while I was changing the strings, I was like, why not? Things that are a problem with it on my one, and uh, I think this is a problem with a CNC machine, um, and this isn't the problem on my drummer's one. So. I don't know what's going on here, but I've seen it on, so this is Indonesian, my drummer's one's Indonesian, it's Squire Bullet, um, on a Squire, a Jim Root Squire that my drummer has as well, and on this, the thin E string ran sort of almost off the edge of the neck by the end, by the last fret. Um, and I've done some measurements. I moved the bridge over on mine to compensate for it, so now it's dead straight. On his one, the neck pocket was redone and it's got sort of tiny packers around the edge of it that you can see, doesn't, doesn't look too bad but I went for the moving the bridge option there's a video on on that um, just because I don't want to see packers around the edge of it and you can't tell it's done all you can tell is it's a bit off center here but it is something to be aware of I think if you're a beginner you're not gonna be too fussed because you probably won't be busting out massive solos to begin with um, but if you're a more experienced player with the, that thin E string going off the edge of the neck it's a bit of a problem to be honest so it's a quick fix I've done a, a video of how to fix it just move the bridge over um, it's really easy to do, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, but it's something to be aware of. But it's funny how it's on this one. It's not on my drummer's one, which is identical, but it's butterscotch blonde. Um, the Jim Root is made in China, so I think, I don't know how CNC machi machines work, so if anyone knows, please uh, write in the description and tell me. But I imagine it's like a program that's just sent out by Fender that they use for all their guitars, and I don't know if there's a couple of variations of it, but I've had I've never seen it on an um, on a Mexican Telecaster. All the ones of those I've played are, in fact, Fender Mexican Telecasters, 530 to 550 quid new, and it's about 500 quid for a used one. Brilliant guitar. Just a little side note there. So for 500 quid, I mean that could be your main guitar. Like they're perfect. Every, I can't fault them. Um, but the something about the neck pocket. I've done some measurements. So the bridge is now off-centered on mine, but so originally the bridge was straight, which means the neck pocket is wrong. On a Strat, um, you can pull the neck round a bit, but on a Telecaster, this neck pocket is a lot squarer. On a Strat, it's more rounded, so it's got a bit more movement. On a Telecaster, you don't really get that adjustment, so you can't pull it over. 
which means on the CNC machine the neck pockets are crooked but not on all of them and they're from different factories so this is Indonesian it's wonky the gym roots wonky and that's from China um, but like I said my drummer's one his squad bullet that's from Indonesia and that's dead straight so there's a couple of wonky CNC machines out there so who knows anyway back to this uh, through body strings it's got the skunk stripe which looks really nice the tuners are fairly cheap but I haven't had any problems with them things I've changed um, well the strings because I just think nines personally aren't very nice the pickups are really low output but they sound great so there's no problem with that um, I've changed them for higher output pickups purely because I, I swap a lot of guitars mainly for my videos and doing stuff it just means I don't have to change the levels I know that's really lazy but it just suits me I also changed the scratch plate I'll put um, there's a video of this uh, mod um, but I changed the scratch plate so that when it's in the bridge position this volume knob is further away but these scratch plates cost a fortune these are 18 quid plus a tenner delivery so 28 quid on a 140 pound guitar or you can pick these up for 110 quid or even 100 quid so there's quite a big investment just for a bit of metal which doesn't change anything about the guitar but it just makes it so much more playable apart from that I have changed it for a three ply scratch plate because I think this tiny little pin strike around the edge looks a lot smarter that's just to my taste it came with a white one hardware absolutely no problems with that the bridge is nice the saddles are nice the tuners are nice I did change the string tree because I prefer this style of string tree if you're an experienced player I would probably recommend getting one if it was for like you want two guitars when you gig in case you snap a string it's just easier to you know change your guitar rather than stand there and the crowd watch you tune a guitar while you change a string it's just far less faff I'd recommend it for that um, doing uh, Nashville or high strung tuning like I've done so it's in a different tuning because you don't want to have a well you could have a really expensive guitar for that but I'm a bit like what's the point might as well do it on a cheap one in fact one of my subscribers suggested that um, if you're an absolute beginner definitely this is one of the best if not the best guitar for about 140 quid I've ever played the thing with a cheap Squire is you know you're going to get consistency and you see that with Squires they're really good I know there's the wonky bridge problem but you know it it's a 20 minute fix I've shown you how to do that so there are ways around it and it, oh no it's not ideal but apart from that it's a really nice guitar the neck's nice there's uh, the frets are a bit scratchy but they wear off um, I'm guessing they decided not to polish them the neck feels really nice um, it comes nicely set up they look good well they look exactly like a Telecaster should look so job done I just think it's I mean I'd 100 quid you can pick these up for 110 quid well, under 100 quid when they're on sale but I've paid more than that for well definitely for, I was gonna say a microphone looking at my Shaw microphones but that's hardly any money I could drink 100 quid in a pub on a night out by the time you've got the cab and your kebab it's just you know don't have a night out by another guitar I don't think you'd regret it so hopefully that was helpful I haven't even look this is how it sounds well I say this is how it sounds I mean this is this is a ridiculous concept anyway but not only have I changed it to national tuning I've changed the pickups I'm playing through an orange rocker 15 terror so it's only relevant if you've got the same amp through a cab I made through an SM57 um, it's Hall of Fame reverb but not only do you not have the same setup as me and they're not the same room but YouTube's compression is going to change how it sounds anyway but you know sounds good so let me get a pick. Oh, I forgot it's national tuning. <laughs> okay.
Just while I was playing that, I was thinking, I think the pickups are tone riders, they're about 70 quid. The scratch plate's probably 10 or 20. This um, mod is about 30 quid. I've spent as much modifying this as the guitar cost, but at least I will now use it. And that's my Nashville tune guitar, so it's only going to be for layers on people's tracks, and my own tracks, and my band's tracks. But you know, it's a guitar I'm going to keep now, whereas why would I play it when I've got a uh, you know, full fat Les Paul, a Strat, uh, a Mexican Fender, but now it's, it does something different. It's definitely going to be, I mean, it looks cool. Look at that. Look at that purple. That looks brilliant. Hopefully that was helpful. And check out the other, my first uh, review of this because that's got more playing and also the song up at boxes at the end, links in the description, just so you can hear it in a track, you know, a full mix. And that's before I've changed the pickups or I've changed the strings, but it's before I've changed the pickups and done all the other stuff to it. Yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.